Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 5th? What do we have for around the 5th or thereabouts? Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords, I don't know, we may have some, we may have, uh, you know, that's the end of a situation's pain, suffering, uh, hurting. Uh, we got somebody here, that, uh, there could even be some back pain here, somebody could be having some back pain, but whatever is happening, happening, it looks like it's over, it looks like it's over, it looks like it's, you know, uh, it's the end. They've been suffering. They've been in some sort of pain. The pain may be over. And, you know, the pain may be over, whatever it is. Um, Ten of Swords is, is uh, well, it is the death of a situation. It is the death of a situation. It feels like we have some, well, I can see that we have somebody here that has reached the end. They have definitely reached the end. Um, Yeah. What more can I say? If it's over, if it's it's done, it's done. You know, if they reached some somebody has reached the end. Strength. Now, strength is a card of courage and bravery. This is somebody that is very, that, that I, I want to say graceful, and I know that that's a meaning of the card, but I don't usually say it. This is like a graceful exit of some sort. Um, we have somebody here that is very, uh, it feels like we have somebody that here that is experienced. This person is experienced, they're gentle. Now we have that victory wreath too, so there's sorrow, victory after sorrow. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower. No fear. But this is in my past positions. We have somebody here that has been... Uh, it feels like they've been working hard. It feels like somebody's been working really, really hard, but there's... There's still going to be an ending. This is the end, but it could be the end of pain and the end of suffering. Somebody has obviously been in a terrible situation. It feels like it's a graceful exit of some sort. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is. It looks like we have somebody here that it's unplanned. It's it's interesting because it's not planned, um, not moving, not going anywhere. We have somebody here that's not going not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. They're, they're, and I was gonna say that here. I was I was gonna say it doesn't look like this person's going anywhere, and and definitely not. So yeah, the, somebody's not going anywhere. They're lazy. There could be some sort of, uh, instability, insecurity, unfaithfulness. I don't know if somebody has been unfaithful. The, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is, is, uh, somebody doesn't put in much effort. They don't follow through with their plans. Um, they don't try hard enough. So somebody isn't trying very hard. Or they're not going anywhere, you know, and now there's, there's some sort, it feels like there's going to be a loss because, you know, this, everything has been turned upside down. So anyway, there's, there's going to be some sort of loss. There is going to be a loss. Um, and it's because of lack of work. Somebody just didn't put in any work, you know. Um, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Nothing stable, nothing solid, nothing secure. Unhealthy. Somebody's not healthy either. Um, they just don't try hard enough. 
Anyhow, Ten of Swords, the death of a situation. It's not practical. It's not. It's not lasting. It's something isn't about isn't lasting. We have somebody here that is greedy, selfish, doesn't have anything to offer for some reason. Um, may just. This is a no. Not taking any action. Uh, manipulative. We have somebody here that is very, very manipulative. Lies. We have a liar here. Lack of integrity. I feel like there's a lack of integrity. Somebody's been lying. And I feel like they... Well, it's big lies. It is big, big, big lies. Maybe they've been trying to control another person because strength is about control. Strength is about control. Power and control. But this is a loss of power. The answer is no. Somebody's being told no. Um, and I feel like I feel like they're going. They've been. They're trying to con control a situation. And they're going to be told no. You know, it's not stable. It's not secure. That's not real. You know, there's a lack of reality here. A lack of awakening. A lack of growth as well. Hmm. Lack of manifestation. Somebody has tried to, to do something that, I don't know if it was to hurt another person, you know, stab another person in the back. This is somebody that is very jealous. There is somebody here that is very jealous that is trying to hurt another person. And it feels, and they are doing, and I feel like they're doing it out of ego, out of control. You know, their ego, they need, they, you know, that's what it is. They're trying to hurt another person. They want power. They want control. And I feel like, I feel like they've been trying to cause somebody to suffer. And some, the person that they have been uh, controlling, you know, has been suffering. Has been suffering. And I feel, but I feel like. You know, now there's, it feels like no, the answer is no. It feels like they're doing something that is, you know, maybe this person feels like they're above the law or something. They're doing something in the, uh, what are they doing? Lying about something. What are they lying about? Their stability, their security. Hmm. Woo! The tower reverse. Yeah, somebody's been uh, lying about their security about their foundation, about who they are, maybe even about their health. The tower is a structure, could be your body, could they even could have been lying to themselves, even with a magician, the magician reversed. I mean, magician is a one card, so it is a lot about self, you know, so I do feel like we have somebody, maybe somebody's been lying to themselves about their foundation, and that could, that could have to do with your house, it could do with your body, it could do with your job, it could be do with your relationship, you know, foundations are everywhere. So somebody's been lying about their foundation, about their stability, and there's, there's been a lot of falseness, and they've been avoiding breakdown, they've been avoiding upheaval and chaos, but they can't avoid it anymore, because the tower's reverse, it means they can't avoid it. There could be a permanent loss here. We could have a permanent loss, because somebody isn't taking the proper action, they're manipulating, they're, or they're lying to themselves, or something like that. Anyhow, the tower reversed is avoiding, there's a, a, avoiding, there's an opportunity to avoid, or there was, but I don't think there is. I don't really think there is an opportunity. Somebody's been trying to avoid. They've been manipulating. Yes. Anyhow, somebody's been manipulating. They've been manipulating the truth, and they've been in a false sense of security. You know, they've built up a false foundation, and they have refused to take action they're very stubborn. We have somebody here that is stubborn. They have been refusing to take action. They are about to experience some serious pain if they haven't already. Okay, they, I think they already have. But anyhow, there could be some pain. There could be, you know, um, I don't know. The tower could be so many things. It's going to be a major disruption that has been avoided until now. Okay. Um... Knight of Pentacles reverse. We could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, or a Scorpio, or even an Aquarius. 
Um, somebody's about to get a rude awakening. I think we have some serious health issues here as well that need to be taken care of right now. It needs to be taken, needs to be controlled. Somebody may have some health issues that need to be taken care of right now before it's, before things explode. Just saying. There's somebody here that is lazy or they're just not being practical. Or they're not, you know, seeing things clearly. You know, there's a lack of reality here. So anyway, somebody really needs to wake up. They need to get up before they can't get up. Anyhow, um, it's time to take control. Somebody needs to master their emotions and find their, again, discipline. They need to find self-control. Anyhow, so this somebody needed to hear this message, and I don't know who it is. Somebody need to hear the message. But anyway, on another note, Somebody is, is uh, needing to deal with a foundation, and they're going to be because there's going to be a disruption. However, that foundation applies to you. Okay, there is going to be a disruption that has been avoided until now. Oh, somebody's been ignoring. Oh boy, somebody has totally been ignoring. They've been missing something and they're very, very stubborn. We have somebody that needs to look up, okay? It's like God is giving them an opportunity and they're missing it. They're missing an opportunity. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for love. There's an opp opportunity for uh, support. But you have somebody, we have somebody here that is so stubborn and holding on to something that is false, whether it's a, a mindset or something else, or they're being so stubborn holding on to something that is false that they are missing a wonderful opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity right in front of right in front of somebody and it's being missed or it's being ignored because of something that is built on false pretenses and because of not wanting to take responsibility not wanting to put in effort not wanting to let go of the assets greed Anyhow, or just plain stubbornness, laziness. Don't want to put in the effort to remove myself from the false sense of security, the false foundation, or to build a stronger foundation, whether it's a body. Somebody just doesn't, they're lazy. They're just lazy. They don't want to put in effort to change because the, the, the universe, I always call the tower the universe, the tower is about change. So this is forced change. And in reverse, it's an extreme. So something extreme is going to happen that is going to force a change because it has been ignored. Somebody needs to take control before, <laughs> you know, it gets worse. But it could get worse. It could definitely get worse. Could... You know, I mean, I'm not even sure with that Ten of Swords. That is a very painful situation. It's terrible. There's a lot of pain here. You know, it's if it's not, if you're not dead yet, I mean, in that car, so it's, you know, don't look good. Anyhow, so. But whoever this person was obviously got themselves into this situation and now they need to find the strength and the courage and the willpower and the discipline and the self-worth and the self-love to take control before they die in this situation, whatever it is. Good luck.